Rise and shine, Yankees fans. The Yankees yet again win. Cesar Sabathia is actually pitching consistently. Yeah. Something that was raising the alarms. This rotation does not work if Cesar Sabathia is not pitching to give the Yankees that W. Yankees fans, I am starving right now. I'm about to eat some platanos. But before I begin, Yankees fans, the Yankees are considering calling up Brandon Jury to play first base. And some people are saying that they might call down Greg Bird because some people are saying that Greg Bird was called up too fast and he needs more time in AAA. Who knows? I think they're just going to replace him with Tyler Austin. Who knows how many trips Tyler Austin actually has to be called down to the minor leagues. Because people have been scratching their heads saying, hey, this guy's struggling. He's barely hitting. Why don't the Yankees call him down a triple A? We saw that with uh, Ronald today as they prefer to keep Tyler Austin. So who knows? Maybe his minor league days are numbered. Maybe he can't be called down without being designated for assignment or whatever. And now that I think of it, the Yankees might be holding on to Tyler Austin as trade bait because it's obvious by now that if they do call him down, they have to like designate him for assignment. So I'm pretty sure they're holding on to him on the roster to use him as trade bait. So even the Simon Eddie source said this, the Yankees might call down Greg Bird and call up Brandon Jury. We all know Walker's a switch hitter, so you're really not losing a left-handed bat in the lineup. But like I said, why keep Tyler Austin? The only logical explanation to that is, is that the Yankees are holding on to him to later trade him come trade deadline or close to it. And really, in this instance, I might be wrong. I'm not 100% sure if it works that way or if it's going to work that way. My explanation for the Yankees keeping Tyler Austin on this roster is really using him as trade bait. If you don't know, Drury started yesterday's game in AAA at first base. So the Yankees are obviously considering the fact of bringing Brandon Drury up to the major leagues to play first base because we have seen and heard in media that Brandon Jury is becoming irate down there in AAA and he's saying that he does not belong there. So really, you can see that it really wasn't Brandon Jury's fault. Originally, maybe because he lied about having concussions and not seeing well, but as it progressed, he has gotten better. He claims now to see 100%. So you can't blame the Yankees for taking this step with Brandon Jury and placing him at first base and potentially calling down Greg Bird because Greg Bird has been struggling. Folks, even though Tyler Austin has been struggling, but Tyler Austin has put up in it, that short span of how many games Greg Bird has played, Tyler Austin has put up better numbers than Greg Bird. And like I said, I keep getting the Marcus Timms, Marcus Thames, however you want to pronounce his last name, questions, hey, the Yankees are sending all these players down to AAA or considering sending down these players to AAA. Do they have more confidence in the coaching staff in the minor leagues? Hey, if you ask me, it sure looks like that because we have a whole bunch of uh, offensive hitters on our lineup that are proven offensive juggernauts really struggling and batting for very low batting averages. I mean, just look at the whole Yankees lineup. The only person that is batting really close to 300, obviously over 300, is Andahar and Torres. And these are two guys that were recently in the Yankees minor league system. So you can see that angle. I mean, Austin Roman, yeah, he's been playing a few games, but not the whole season. Hicks, 248. Gregorius, 248. Stanton, 240. Bird, 176. Judge 271, Gardner 263, and we all know about Gary Sanchez 190. So there, that's something to look at, folks. The Yankees are not batting for average. I mean, they're still winning ball games, but with a team like the Red Sox on the Yankees' tail or the Yankees on their tail, I mean, it's going to be pretty hard to stay consistent in the Yale East. But we all know the Yankees have all the pieces to upgrade their team. So obviously they are. The Red Sox do not. So that's where the Yankees have the upper hand with the Red Sox. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you think it's a great idea to call up Brandon Jury to play first base or rotate him with, let's say, a Walker or Greg Bird? Like I said about Tyler Austin, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the Yankees do call him down. But for 
whatever reason they haven't so that is just my opinion that if they do have to call him down they have to designate him for assignment or release him or whatever however that works so yankees fans like always this has been felix from mynews.com share like and subscribe i will check you all next time